10 or two big carries on the last drive. This time, it does go to him. This time on the reverse version of the play. He finds a seam. He finds some holes. Breaks one. And it's popped loose. A fumble inside the 10. Who's got it? It's Great Lakes. The Wolfpack picking up inside the 10. Just five times this season, Sinclair has turned it over on downs coming into tonight. Keep in mind, nine total turnovers, now 10 on the season. Soja, first and 10 for the 39. Finds a seam. You do say, and so touchdown, Sinclair. We'll see what they decide to do here, starting under center. Do they dare can try and concede points? No. They run for space, break away from space. Off to the races they go. Down the 50, brought out around the 40. Josh Martin Penley breaks out and runs it out. All the way to Longhorns territory. Three in the motion. Kemp looking, throwing, wants the end zone, has a man open, touchdown. Julian Zanitz, wide open for the score. An assumption has their second passing touchdown of the day. So first and 10 at the 40, once more for the Saints. Approaching the final third of quarter one. About five minutes to go in the quarter, coming up. Three in the motion for Cadet. Goes for the jet sweep, Tristan Rutherford. Brought across the 35, tries to juke out. This time the whistles draw it dead around the 32, 33 yard line. Okay, so for a receiver, ultimately you're running, like you said, the jet sweep, you're going to the outside. Anytime you run to the outside, the concept is simple. You stretch it until you can't. He kept stretching, 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 picking up positive yards until he ended up getting nine. Had his pursuit, had he stopped and stuttered and turned it up too early, might have been tackled. Stretch, if there's not the stretch, he could have crammed it. Last resort is to cut it back. That was a very disciplined run by a wide receiver running a stretch zone running play. And enter they go bunch, trying to push with the line on second and one. And they get it up for the first down by a couple yards. So first and 10 inside the 30. Yeah, and I really like the way all the green jerseys are belly down forward about two yards down the field right now because that means your quarterback is likely laying on top of you, which means, like you said, they easily got the first down, and now you're set up in as you approach the red zone and the scoring area. Leading that push, by the way, as the de facto quarterback on that was Javier Lewis. So Gannett gets back inside the huddle. First and 10 from the 29-yard line. And then trying to build upon what's been a four to nine yard three TD season. This time finding the short completion. Trying to break some tackles. Daniel Bumbaco gets inside the 10 first down. I, again, good job by stepping up into the pocket by Gannett and he said, patiently waited for his receiver to clear. The receiver did a good job of stopping that dig route so that that way it didn't carry all the way over to the safety. Once he caught it, he spun back to the boundary and picked up five, six more yards. But unfortunately, it looks like we have an offsides, Justin, against mm. the offense. So maybe one of the receivers jumped the gun a little bit and that's going to negate the big play and it's going to bring up a first and 15. So just like that, instead of first and goal, it's going to be first and long. The ball spawned at the 34-yard line with 3.30 to go in the first. Again, St. Clair already two victories against London entering tonight in the home-and-home -home series, dropping the beef eaters to the mid-table. To the motion from right to left. Cadet looking to his left. Looking for options, forced to scramble right. Trying to throw short, complete. Got enough to get inside the original sticks. Second down, Yeah, Laurier. Decent back end coverage by Hamilton. There was really nothing too much down the field. Uh, I, I think maybe the matchup might have been on the backside of that where it looked like he had ISO coverage. You, you have a big receiver and number seven. Um, Burmaster by himself, so I think maybe you wanted to 
maybe look his way a little bit more. But either way, it was still a positive play. You got the penalty yards back. Second and 10, ball spotted at the 29. Looking to his left, Gannett. One-on-one -on -one coverage, end zone, Bormaster, call his number, touchdown! Trying to keep the march forward. To be safe, St. Croix needs to get it to about the 25. For the motion. Dora Marshall blocks, Soja tries to throw, finds Lewis on the screen. Lewis breaks ahead, cuts through, end zone! St. Croix takes the lead with under 90 seconds to go on the touchdown! Under a minute to go, second and 14 from the 48. Looking to pass for the first time all day. Cope gets it off through double coverage, and it's picked up and caught. My goodness, off the deflection. Will Pale picks it up. First and 10 from the 21. Once again, the run. Once again, to the races they go. Josh Martin Pendley. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown here on Heights. Set up with three wide receivers to the right of Soja. Soja, once again, runs right, keeps it himself. Gets the first down. Looking for more blocks. Gets one more chance to the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Maurice Soja.